Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can avoid open candy from getting installed onto our operating system now open candy has been around for a while and normally it comes bundled with uh, freeware as you can see here freeware software is something that you download off the internet and a uh, third party uh, software gets bundled inside of this type of freeware okay as you can see so you've got image burn utorrent uh, crystal disk all these types of programs that come bundled with open candy so what is open candy well open candy is basically advertising software that gets bundled inside it's classed as crapware junkware loads of different names for it but it's basically pups and potentially unwanted programs that get installed during the install process so as you go to install this program it will start to um, trick you in a way to uh, install other types of software that you may not need and then as you're browsing the internet you'll get redirected to an advertisement site or you'll get pop-ups and stuff like that let me just show you exactly what I mean so we can go ahead and uh, look at ways of protecting yourself Let's just take a look at uTorrent this is a commonly used program by people now when you open this up as you can see here you will start to install um, say BitTorrent or uTorrent and you can see here uh, uTorrent is here as you go through the license agreement most people skip these license agreements um, sometimes and they just go right away through and they don't read what's actually involved here so you start to click next 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 and they keep clicking next and before you know it they just click next all the way through and you can see here special offer for BitTorrent users BitTorrent bundle, download movies, music, blah blah blah, all that sort of stuff. And you can see here, yes, I'd love to check out this download. So what you want to be doing is removing this. Okay. Most of the time you go through here and you can see it's a bit of a laborious process because there's loads of them all bundled in here. There's another one here. If you leave these ticked, it's gonna um, install this uh, type of software again the desktop tool this will get uh, installed as well on the system because we've not um, agreed so you can see here I, I accept I do not accept so you need to make sure that you do not accept this and finish and then it will just install uTorrent on, on its own now this is one of the more easier ones to do but some of them are more complicated and they're tricky and sometimes you can miss them and this is where user error comes in if you are a user that doesn't read uh, this type of stuff and just goes through you're going to end up getting uh, this type of installation installed on the system there's also software that people use like uh, image burn and you need to read the terms and conditions or look for a list called uh, open candy uh, software and you'll see tons of software that's uh, uh, that people use on a daily basis that's listed in there and you can see here in the license agreement here it says open candy end user you can see this and this once you start uh, reading up about this you'll realize what you're opting into so let me just close that off and i'll quickly show you crystal disk is another one that relies on adverts or advertisements for funding because it's a free program and as you get to the license agreement you will see open candy if you see this then you know you're going to get bundled with other software that you may not want to be installed on that system so now we know what it is and how we can uh, now we need to go about stopping this from getting installed on the system and there's numerous different ways as I said a good starting point is unchecky uh, you can use unchecky to block a lot of this stuff and I did do a video uh, on this and you can go to the press section here and you come down to where it says avoid bloatware and toolbars and it's posted on their site here uh, but unchecky will basically remove these ticks and I'll show you exactly what unchecky does I'm going to quickly download it and I'm going to go through the installation process and then we'll take another little look at the way it goes about doing its business so we're going to install this and it's on the system that quickly that's how quick and easy unchecky gets installed now it does a lot of numerous different things so if we look at the host file here you'll see when I'll, I'll use hostman for checking the host file you'll see that it's added a load of these inside the host file here to block these particular domains which is my PC backup these are all common uh, 
types of open candy software that will get installed or adware software that will get installed on the system sweetpacks.com and so on these will all cause problems on your PC when you're installing software um, and sometimes the software that you're using is just general software that uh, a lot of people do use there's nothing wrong with the software it's just bundled with uh, open candy so now we've got uh, unchecky installed what do we do how do we use it well we'll just go through the process of uh, installing uTorrent again and I'll show you exactly what it does it's pretty straightforward and it really does work pretty well on a lot of applications let me just pull this down when it loads up here okay so we'll go through the motions here and we're going to agree and you can see already it, that tick has been removed and now down the bottom potentially unwanted program has removed the tick here so if you start putting the tick in it will warn you okay as you can see here you're about to install potentially unwanted program are you sure you want to proceed decline potentially unwanted uh, offer recommended that means it's not going to put this on the system so that's how it protects you great little feature great program so we'll go next it's now going to start doing its thing and now it's, it says finished it's bypassed all that as you can see there so that's how unchecky works pretty useful and it really is uh, decent now you can also add all these to uh, your own host file if you don't want to use unchecky you can always add these types of uh, things to there they're all freely available all over the internet but if you're going to do that you may as well use unchecky and also uh, antivirus programs do come with pup protection which is potentially unwanted programs a lot of the time though this is not enabled by default and you need to dig into the settings and make changes to that to uh, protect you against pups also malwarebytes pro will help you and protect you okay so let me just quickly uninstall uh, unchecky here and I want to show you another thing that you can do uh, to protect yourself so let me just uh, remove save settings and uh, there's a command you can use which is no uh, no candy but first off before you do that you're going to want to add in a load of these okay uh, to your host file so if you're using say for instance hostman we're just going to go into hosts open with text editor here and we can paste these inside here save this to our hosts file and this allows us to ed edit the host file now the hosts file is a protected file so you will have trouble if you don't use programs like this so we're just going to do that here and you can get that program here put the link in the description for you and if I forget it will be on my forum somewhere um, but basically that will stop that so now we've got that installed we're going to go ahead and install uTorrent as well so first off we're going to need to open up a, a command prompt I'm just going to run this with administrator now you can see here it's called uTorrent.exe now you might not see the UXE so if you've not seen that you need to show hidden files folders and the way you can do that let me just quickly show you this part as well so we'll go file explorer here you need to go here and then hidden items and also you can go to options here and you can then go to view and then take the tick out of hide extension for known file types if you want to see the full uh, path so now we have the full path we're in the wrong uh, directory here we're in system 32 so we can just quickly go back here you can do it whichever way you like and you can change directory to the desktop that's where we need to be so we're gonna go users and then we can also go to Brytec which is my user account and then desktop all in one go just like that so now we're back at the desktop directory here now we can paste in our file and also going to space forward slash and then no candy push enter and this will then start to install uTorrent as you'll see now it won't block everything uh, it, on most programs it will block just about all the uh, the candy on the system that's going to get installed so if you go next here next 
I agree next and you'll see it leaves this part here so you'd have to take this out but other than that it removes all the other stuff just like uh, Unchecky does but it left this part here okay so all the rest of it was gone so we can now finish and that will be that that will be on the system and no candy will get installed so there's just another little way that you can go ahead and do that now also you can use your firewall to block uh, all the domain names you can set up a, a new rule on your firewall maybe I'll cover that in another video and you can block loads of domain names that you don't want to have access just in case one slips through the net and something doesn't uh, pick it up and it gets through you can block those so anyway this is just a video just to show you how to avoid uh, open candy from getting installed on your system I hope this one helps you out guys I hope this one keeps you safe my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you have got problems with your computers you can head over to our forums and join up over there it's free to join you can put your video requests up there if you wish and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, by all means, head over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you a penny. So thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye for now.